in this problem, I think I can maybe take the integral of this because the inner function is ln of n. And its derivative is then 1 over n. So if I was to divide everything you see here by 1 over n, it'd be like multiplying by the reciprocal n over 1. And therefore, this would cancel. Our u is essentially ln of n. So we're really just integrating 1 over x, or u, I should say, cubed du, because the n's, or the x's, canceled out. We're going to go from 2 to b, and we're going to find the limit as b approaches infinity. Well, this is u to the negative one-third, add one, and get u to the negative two over negative two. And we have this from two to b, as long as we plug in for u. And what goes back in should be ln of n. So as I rewrite this, we have negative one over two, ln of n all to the second power in the denominator from 2 to b and the limit as b approaches infinity. Well, when I put a very, very big number in here and I square it, the first term is going to go to 0 minus a negative 1 over 2 ln of 2 all squared. These two will become positive and I'll have 1 over whatever 2 ln of 2 squared is. All I care is that this is finite. So we have a convergent series. So we found a convergent series because we were able to take the integral. So really that's the moral of the story. Can the integral be evaluated? Our options of course are u sub, parts, etc. These are the main ones that'll be used when we have LN.